John Gill, Naaman chapter 1, verse 8. Reading from the King James Bible first, quote, But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies, unquote. John Gill, quote, Naaman 1, 8. But with the overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof. Of Nineveh, against whom the prophecy was, and upon whom it lay as a burden. Nineveh chapter 1, verse 1. And now, though the Lord was good to them that trust in him, and a stronghold to them in a time of trouble, yet he was determined to destroy the, their enemies, the Assyrians, and Nineveh, their chief city, and that by the means of a powerful army, which, like a flood or indignation of water breaking in, overruns and carries all before it, and very fitly made the Medes and the Babylonians who joined together in an expedition against Nineveh, be compared to such a flood as their number and force, since, as the historians tell us, they were no less than 400,000 men. Though this may be literally understood, for as the same writer observes, there was an oracle received by the Ninevites from their ancestors, that Ninevite, Nineveh could never be taken by any unless the river on which it stood, first became an enemy to it. And so it was, that in the third year of the siege, the river, being swollen with continual rains, overflowed part of the city and broke down the wall for the space of two and a half miles. Hence the king concluded the oracle was fulfilled and gave up all hopes of safety, and through the breach of the wall, the enemy entered and took the city and in utter end was made of it and of the place of it, insomuch that historians and geographers disagree about it. Some say it was situated upon the river Euphrates, others upon the river Tigris, which is the most correct. Some say on the east of the river, others on the west. Some will have it to be above the river uh, Lycus, that's L-Y-C-U-S, and others below it. So true is that of Lucian, that's L-U-C-I-A-N, that Nineveh is now entirely lost, and no traces of it remain, nor can one easily say where it once was. And travelers in general, both ancient and modern, agree that it lies wholly in ruins and is a heap of rubbish. Benjamin T-U-D-E-L-E-N-S-I-S who traveled into these parts in the 12th century, relates between a Moselle, a M -O, no, it's a -L -M -O -Z -A -L, or M-O-S-U-L, and Nineveh is only a bridge, and it, Nineveh, is a waste. But there are villages and many towers. H-A-I-T-H-O, an Armenian who wrote more than 100 years after the former says, This city, Nineveh, at present, is wholly destroyed. But by what yet appears in it, it may be firmly believed that it was one of the greatest cities in the world. Monsignor T H E V E N O T, who was upon the spot in the last century, observes on the other side of the river. Tigris, from that on which Mosul, that's M-O-S-U-L, stands, at the end of the bridge begins the place where in ancient times to the famous city of Nineveh. There is nothing of it, had he, now to be seen, but some hemlocks, which they say are its foundations, the houses being underneath, and these reach a good way below the city of Mosul, M O. S -U -L. The darkness shall pursue his enemies, the enemies of God and his people, who would make such a devastation of Nineveh. Even he would cause all manner of calamities, often signified in scripture by darkness, to follow and overtake them, so that they should be brought into the most uncomfortable and distressed conditions imaginable. Scripture quote, but with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end to the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue 
his enemies. Unquote. King James Version. Footnote of the reader. I myself have seen at the British Museum when I was in London many years ago. Artifacts of Nineveh. And also you can see artifacts that have been dug up in 2015 and thereof. There is plenty to show how great this city was. The uh, current place of it in Iraq now is... All right. Yeah. Is it Iraq or Iran? I'm right. It's, it's Iraq. Uh, the current city is spelled M-O-S-U-L. But yeah, there are lots of very impressive artifacts that came out of this city. This appeared to be a really great city. This ends the footnote from the reader. It also ends John Gill's Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 8.